Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, two straight lines uh, that intersect each other and as a result we get this angle uh, theta. As you can see in this uh, diagram and moreover this uh, blue straight line is being represented by 5x minus y equals to 2 whereas uh, this uh, red line is being represented by this equation x plus 2y equals to 7. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this uh, angle uh, theta. And keep in mind that angle theta is uh, in between uh, 0 and uh, 90 degrees. In other words, uh, our this uh, angle uh, theta is an acute uh, angle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and we are going to use the vector approach to solve this given uh, problem. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, red straight line whose equation uh, is uh, x plus 2y equals to 7. And now let's assume that this uh, y has some constant value t. In other words, I can say that let uh, y equal to some constant value t, then this uh, equation is going to become, uh, if I substitute y by t over here, this is going to become uh, x uh, plus uh, 2t equals to 7. And if I move this uh, 2t on the other side, x is going to be equal to negative uh, 2 times t plus uh, 7. So therefore, uh, I can write uh, that x uh, is going to be equal to negative uh, 2t plus uh, 7, as you can see over here. So therefore, as a result, our vector is going to become uh, our this uh, xy. I can write as uh, negative uh, 2t plus 7, comma, this uh, t, I'm going to write down t over here. And now let's focus on this uh, blue straight line whose uh, equation is uh, 5x minus y equals to 2. Now we are going to work on this equation. And this time we are going to assume that x takes uh, some constant value t. So therefore let's assume that uh, x uh, equal to some constant value t, then uh, this equation is going to become, once we substitute x uh, by t, this is going to become uh, 5 uh, t minus y equals to 2. And now we are going to move this uh, y on the other side and at the same time I'm going to move 2 in the opposite uh, direction. So therefore we are ended up with uh, y equals to 5 uh, t minus uh, 2. So therefore we can write uh, that uh, y is going to be equal to 5 uh, t minus uh, 2 as you can see over here. So therefore uh, the corresponding vector for this uh, case is going to be simply our this uh, t. I'm going to write down t comma 5 t minus 2. I'm going to write down 5 uh, t minus uh, 2. So therefore our vector u for uh, this one is uh, going to be equal to this coefficient uh, negative 2. I'm going to write down negative 2 comma the coefficient for t is 1. And likewise the vector in this case I'm going to write down uh, v is going to be equal to the coefficient of t is going to be 1 comma the coefficient for this t is going to be 5 and now we are going to find the angle between these uh, two vectors and now let's recall this uh, well-known formula cosine of theta is going to be equal to the dot product of these two vectors u and v divided by the magnitude of this uh, vector u times the magnitude of this uh, vector v. And now we are going to find the value of uh, these uh, magnitude of this uh, vector u. 
and likewise the magnitude of this uh, vector v from uh, here and now we are going to focus on this vector u so its uh, magnitude uh, is going to be u vector magnitude is going to be the square root of uh, this uh, square plus this square I'm going to write down negative uh, 2 square plus uh, this uh, 1 square so let's go ahead and simplify this is going to give us uh, uh, negative 2 square is going to be 4 plus 1 that is going to be equal to square root of uh, 5 so therefore uh, the magnitude of this vector u turns out to be square root of 5 and now we are going to calculate the magnitude of this uh, vector v over here so that is going to be equal to the square root of this uh, 1 square plus uh, 5 square let me write down 1 square plus uh, 5 square let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 1 plus uh, 25 and that is going to be equal to square root of uh, 26 so thus the magnitude of uh, vector v turns out to be square root of 26 and now we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so therefore our cosine of angle theta is going to be equal to the dot product of these two vectors negative 2 comma 1 and then dot uh, the other vector 1 comma 5 all over the value of these uh, two magnitudes turn out to be square root of 5 times uh, square root of uh, 26 at the denominator and now let's multiply these two vectors we are going to multiply their corresponding values negative 2 times 1 is going to give us uh, negative 2 and then I'm going to put down plus sign and then this uh, 1 times 5 that is going to give us uh, 5 if we simplify this negative 2 plus 5 is going to give us a positive 3 so therefore the dot product of these two vectors turn out to be equal to positive 3 so therefore I can write cosine of theta equals to at the numerator that is going to be 3 divided by when we multiply these two so that is going to give us a square root of 5 times 26 is going to give us uh, 130 at the denominator and now we can see that this uh, value is uh, positive and we know that our angle theta is in between 0 and 90 degrees so therefore we can write uh, as uh, our angle theta is going to be equal to cosine inverse of this uh, 3 divided by square root of uh, 130 and if we use the scientific uh, calculator we can see that our angle theta is going to be approximately equal to 74.74 degrees so thus our angle theta turns out to be approximately equal to 74.74 degrees and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.